is suitable for heavy transport aircraft. Under the Soviet Union, it was the home base of the 137th Guards District Training Center, originating from the Soviet 1st Guards Mechanized Corps. It was home to the 283rd Aviation Division, the 34th Air Army. Russia eventually gave up control, and a battalion of Georgia's 1st Infantry Brigade took possession. It was also the site of Operation Immediate Response, which was a training operation between U.S. and Georgian forces. Your final tactical training will be completed here. Looks like we will be landing soon. Continue your briefing as we head over to operations. tests your ability to communicate with forward air controllers, or FACs, and joint terminal attack controllers, or JTACs, to put weapons on target. Make sure you study up on the nine-line briefing before flying this mission. The second mission tests your ability to hit stationary and moving targets as directed by FACs and JTACs. You need to confirm the targets for this mission. Hit the wrong target and you will fail this mission. The third mission tests your ability to hit targets when dangerously close to friendlies. This is a precision trip, on time and on target. mission tests your suppression of enemy air defense, or SEED abilities. You may know how to dodge threats, but can you kill them before they kill you? The fifth and sixth missions test your deep interdiction ability. DI is defined as air operations to destroy or delay the enemy's potential before it can be brought to bear against friendly forces, and at a distance where ground force coordination is not required. Typical DI targets include enemy forces in reserve, road and rail networks, C3 networks, and supply depots. Expect a long flight and some air-to-air -air refuel for these missions. 
the seventh mission tests your coordination ability with special forces. The SF guys usually have it tough, so anything we can do to help, we do it. The eighth mission tests your saddle data link ability. The situational awareness data link is a data link adopted from the Enhanced Position Location Reporting System or EPLRS, to provide A-10s and F-16s data link capability air-to-ground and air-to-air. -air. Ensure you study up on how to use this important functionality. The 9th and 10th missions test your close air support, or CAS, mission management. CAS is air action by fixed wing or rotary wing aircraft against hostile targets that are in close proximity to friendly forces. It requires detailed integration of each air mission coordinated with the fire and movement of those forces. Friendlies will be on the move, so ensure PID on any targets. The 11th and 12th missions test your Battlefield Air Interdiction, or BAI, mission management. BAI is defined as air operations conducted against hostile forces that are not in close proximity to friendly forces, but could have a near-term effect on the operation of friendly forces. Watch out for AAA and SAM threats on these missions. The 13th and 14th missions test your Combat Search and Rescue, or CSAR, mission management. CSAR is defined as search and rescue missions conducted within or near a combat zone. You will need to locate the downed pilot and coordinate the rescue effort for these missions. The final mission is a simulated combat mission bringing all the previous elements to bear. This will be the most challenging experience in your career short of actual combat. We have every confidence in your abilities. Looks like we are here. Get yourself settled and review the briefing for the first mission. I'll see you on the flight line.